Based on IPB train analysis, a JTF will move along one of these avenues of approach and will best affect the link up with early entry forces within 96 hours. We've identified two viable courses of action, but Alpha and Bravo are fundamentally different approaches. Thank you, Colonel Davies. Good work. Sir. Oh, I don't need you for five minutes. Do we need the charts, sir? No, just you. Yo, D, is that coming any other color? Rami, you big lug nut, you part of this? Heavy Brigade Combat Team, HBCT. Hey, somebody has to cover your butt. Man, now I'm worried. Well, you're gonna need all the help you can get if you're planning on taking this thing outside the wire. Where's the rest of them? Staff Sergeant Rami, I'm gonna have to take you to FCS school. Come on. Okay. We got our soft teams going after nukes, key strategic sites. And there's 300 kilometers between us and the capital. Yeah, 300 plus bad kilometers, boss. IEDs, ambushes, mines, the usual. Whatever happened to the easy way, huh? We lead with our heavy armor. It's not easy, but it works. I'm thinking combined arms, using FCS standoff capability with our non-line-of-sight mortars, cannons, missile launch systems from 8, 34, and 40 kilometers out, and a lot more infantry to root out the enemy and control the key terrain. We need more boots on the ground now. You're thinking FCS. That's 702 infantry versus 324 for a heavy BCT. More infantry in the fight. Oh, sweet. You got satellite radio? And more computing power than 17 laptops. You'd need 95K generators to produce what we've got on board. It's hybrid electric it means more power, less fuel. Onboard computers got storage equal to 500 full length movies. Good. You'll have something to watch while we lead the attack. Not so fast, Treadhead. Good commander might want to lead with his strength. Meaning? Meaning attack with all the capability you've got now, plus a whole bunch you don't. Check this out. Same caliber 120 you're using, except we can use it to 12 kilometers out, beyond line of sight. We've got sensor pictures from across the brigade. Air. Ground. And MGV with links to joint ISR, Lantern, J-Stars, Predator. The network lets us engage targets with precision, indirect, and joint fire, even cooperative engagement. You know where the loader sits? Nowhere. We use an auto loader. OK, I get it. Good standoff. Engage the enemy as far away as possible. But what happens when it gets ugly? First off, with all those eyes out there, there's a good chance you'll see it coming. In fact, 75% of all sensors in the brigade are on the MGV. We've even got cameras around our own vehicle, and it comes out here. 17 inches of high-def situational awareness. Yeah, that's great. I don't know. I'm not too sure I'd want to take this ride downtown. FCS is all about urban. You can move it in tighter spaces, streets, even alleys, crosses small bridges and you never lose sight of the enemy or lose touch with your buddies. Oh, and with embedded training, we can train and rehearse any mission right here in the MGV. And once the fighting's over, we can even light up the neighborhood with our hybrid power. If we go FCS, we get multiple routes, since each of these bridges is capable of supporting our FCS vehicles. The engineers can rig up what we need for the HBCT. In a few days. Too late to leave our soft teams in the capital. That gives the enemy a single choke point to bottle up our advance. What about supply? The beauty part is supply. Thanks to hybrid electric, we use 36% less fuel. We've got 63% fewer parts on these puppies. 70% of our parts can be used on any FCS vehicle. Can't say the same about your HBCT, great as it is. But you need a PhD to operate this rig. You know who does 80% of the maintenance on these? We do. Me and my crew. 
Yeah, but what happened to all the support guys? We got 411 support personnel. To your 1,176. The rest of the brigade? Right here. Tip of the spear. <laughs> it's a big spear. What about armor? Armor's great. In fact, we've got better ground up protection from IEDs, small arms, heavy machine gun fire, high explosive frag, top attack munitions, ATGMs, RPGs, and adolescents with attitude. And when they got upgrades, old armor comes off and they bolt on the new stuff. But it's not just about armor. Think of it as rings, rings of protection. The outer ring, that's signature management, makes us harder to find. Then you've got countermeasures, stuff that interferes with the systems they're shooting at us. Finally, there's active protection, hitting a bullet with a bullet. It's amazing stuff. It's still combat, but I take my chances in this track over anything else you can offer. These explosively formed penetrators have me worried. They can punch a hole through anything we got. You're right. They're extremely dangerous. And I do not take that threat lightly. Our lead element needs maximum striking power, speed, and flexibility. We put the FCS BCT out in front of this one. It looks like we'll be the reserve. It's gonna be following you this time. Nobody I'd rather have watching my back. Good luck out there. See you on the other side, my brother. Sir. How do you staff, Sergeant? just the two of us. You can call me Dad. This morning in the pre dawn hour. Joint Coalition Task Force is launched Operation Infantry of the FCS Brigade Combat Team. We are now witnessing the complete collapse of enemy units around us. The success of the FCS and heavy BCT. The arrival of Coalition. 